What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, a.k.a. Mr. Red Cup. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with another video about my pros and cons of living in the Dominican Republic. Now, these are just my opinions, my experiences. To give you a backstory, I've been here 15 years, coming here. I've uh, been living here approximately 12 years now, off and on. So this is just my version of pros and cons in the country. Uh, first off, I need you to hit like, share, subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell, and let's get to the video. trying to do a video. Look, relax a little bit, all right? Damn. Welcome to Blifo. <laughs> so by now, I am sure you are sub to the channel. You have liked the video. You shared it to your groups or to your people's uh, Facebook, WhatsApp groups. And let's get started. So my pros and cons. For every pro, I'll give a con. I'll keep it even and subjective. Uh, first, one of the major pros of living in the Dominican Republic is the cost of living. Your money goes a long way here. Uh, I will say that the cost of living when it comes to rent or buying uh, products, homes, apartments, anything, it's way less than where we're from. So your money goes further here. So I would say a big pro is the cost of living. A con, in no particular order, uh, patience. Everything here is hurry up and wait. So you've got to have patience in this country. You want to get something done? Hurry up and wait. You want the house painted? Hurry up and wait. So one con about this country that you have to get used to if you're going to be here is patience. Everything is hurry up and wait. Some people are in a rush to go nowhere fast, kind of like New York traffic. And sometimes people just say, hey, I'll get it done. If they say they'll be there at three, they'll probably be there at four. Not everybody, but it's something you got to get used to. Another pro is the beautiful beaches. This is the island of 100 beaches. I've said this in a previous video, um, and it's beautiful. I mean, the country as a whole is beautiful, hands down. So I can say that besides living on an island, being surrounded by some beautiful beaches, the country's beautiful as well. That's a big pro for me. And uh, if you want to escape cold weather, it's warm year round in the Dominican Republic. Uh, a con would be the driving. Driving is horrendous. Being from New York City, it's easy for me. I was able to adapt quick. If you've driven in New York City, you understand. Uh, but driving out here is horrendous. Uh, the, I tell people, be careful. If you don't have to drive, don't drive. There's no real rules to the road. Everybody's kind of just freestyling it. Uh, the motorcycles can be horrendous sometimes. And I say horrendous because it'll just come up on each side of you and you're trying to drive normal and you've got motor coach each side. So a big con would be driving here. And I will tell everybody, if you don't have to drive or you can't get used to the driving, don't drive. Another pro is the food. The food here is hands down amazing. These people know how to season. When I say these people, Dominican people, know how to season their food. Sometimes a little too much salt, but it's amazing food. The food is natural. None of that stuff we get back home with steroids, the beef and chicken having steroids, all natural food. Um, I love the food here. I love the meals here. The one knock I can say about that playing devil's advocate is they give you huge portions of food, especially to us men. We get the biggest plate and the most biggest portion. As you see, I've gained some pounds because of that. But the food here is natural and amazing. Uh, one con I can say to add to it is the gringo pricing. It does happen. Does it happen a lot? If you don't have the knowledge, if you don't take the time to learn where to buy stuff, how much things cost. Gringo pricing does happen, but it can be avoided by getting to know the culture. It can be avoided by getting to know the people. It can be avoided by getting to know the pricing of, of certain items and certain products and so on. So that's one thing that can be a con here if you're not entrenched in the culture and you don't wanna to get to know that these prices of, of items and certain particular services cost, you will get overcharged.
Another pro of living in the Dominican Republic is the people. The people are amazing. Hands down, this is the friendliest, safest place I have ever been. Um, I've been all around America. As you know, I've been to 40 something states in America. And I can tell you right now, living in the Dominican Republic, I never watch my back. I never feel unsafe. I never feel threatened. I never feel in a bad situation. And I've been some of the worst areas here as well. Of course, you gotta carry yourself properly everywhere, just like back home, but I feel very safe here. My mother is here. My mother's been to the barrios and the campos and has not had an issue. So one thing I can say is that people are very friendly and sweet. If you get pulled on the side of the road or your, your tire is flat, people will come out just to help change your tire. I, I can tell you from experience, it's happened to me. Um, if your battery's dead, people will come out and try to charge your battery. People will try to help you. I'll give you a quick story. I was going to the airport one time and made a wrong turn. And they have these deep, deep, deep um, water water uh, curbs where the water goes down in the curb when it rains so not to flood the street. And this one had to be really deep. I backed up and fell into the actual water well. <clears throat> I'm by myself. Immediately, in less than 30 seconds, there were seven Dominicans ran up from down the block and pushed me out. Just like that. So that's what I mean. And people are very friendly. Now you know what that happened back home in the states. People just look at you and say, "Oh man, he's stuck in he's stuck in a hole." <laughs> uh, so a con, I would have to say, would be power outages. Power does go out a lot. They're working on their power grid to get it better. I say every day it's 2022 now. Why isn't the power right? But they're working on getting the power right, especially when it rains. When it rains, you may have power issues. Uh, that's why I tell people get a backup generator or backup uh, Inversol, which is the batteries to keep your power up. I have the Inversol. Um, power outages can be a headache, can be annoying since we're used to 24-7 power where you're from. Uh, Wi-Fi and cable gets fuzzy when it rains, but if you had Dish Network, you're used to that. But power outages can be a big con here. I do not like that the power goes out so much, but it is what it is. When it roam, Another big pro for someone like myself who likes to go outside, uh, the nightlife. The nightlife is awesome. The nightlife in Dominican Republic reminds me of New York nightlife, Atlanta nightlife, Miami nightlife. Um, people love to party, have fun. Uh, I've been to huge block parties with thousands of people, no violence, everybody just having a good time. So one big pro about this country I love is the nightlife. Now, they could party me out, and that's rare because I used to party nonstop back home. But the one thing I will say is if you go to a bar, have a good time, you can relax and chill. The music is kind of loud at most places, but that's how it is here. The music's really loud. But uh, overall, I just love the nightlife. I love being able to go to a bar, hang out, go to a certain club and hang out. I just love that because you can go and have fun and really not have any worries of any violence or anything happening. The nightlife to me is one thing I really, really enjoy here in Dominican Republic. <laughs> a con can be the language barrier. I myself speak Spanish. If you do not speak Spanish, it will become a barrier. But there are ways around that. You can take Spanish classes. You can use Duolingo. You, there's so many apps you can use. Uh, my friend has Gritty Spanish. You can go on and just learn basic Spanish to get you by, which is really all you need. But language barrier can be a con here because the country is a Spanish-speaking country. So you want to take it upon yourself to learn at least a little bit of Spanish to get by. A big pro here is there are many opportunities to retire, buy land, and start a business at a lesser cost and less risk. But I want to give a disclaimer alert. If you know what you're doing, let's give that disclaimer. Many opportunities. It's so many opportunities here. It's not even funny. There's ways that you can start a business and not lose your shirt and not really be worried that, hey, I'm going to lose it all. You, you can take losses here like anywhere in the world. I mean, business is business, but this is great opportunities. Great opportunities to buy land, to buy homes at lower price and less risk. But as I said, a disclaimer, if you know what you're doing, meaning you have the right people around you, the right real estate agent, the right lawyers. You heard me say it a million times, make sure you have the right lawyers. Now, a con, and I will say this, honestly, service in most places is awful customer service, restaurant service, 
is awful. As you know, I take super pride in the service I provide at Flip Flop Sports Bar. Shameless plug. But service here is awful. Uh, I need my cable fix. Okay, we'll work on it. Hey, I, the, the water's not working in my hotel room. Okay, we'll work on it. It's just one of those things here that I don't know what it is, but the, the, the overall um, area of the uh, was of service industry, excuse me, is just lacking. They uh, never really realize how to do service. Service is, I get to it when I get to it, which as I told you is, hurry up and wait. So service is awful in this country. That is something I can definitely say. What's good, y'all? Good morning. It's rainy morning. It's a sewer. I want to welcome y'all to the world famous Chicken Shack. <laughs> so now the final thing, and let's get to the elephant in the room, okay? People always ask me, Greg, Mr. Flip Flop, which area is the best area to go to in the Dominican Republic? Well, I got to be honest with you. Every area of the Dominican Republic is nice. But if you want the best area for expats, I feel, in my opinion, it is the north coast of Dominican Republic. Now, where is the north coast? The north coast of Dominican Republic includes Puerto Plata, Sasua, Cabarete, Sabaneta. Okay? You can add Gaspar Hernandez, which is further out, because there is an expat community out there as well. The reason I say that is, Though there is a huge expat community in Santo Domingo, Santo Domingo is like New York and it's more spread out. Whereas the North Coast, you have each town has is full of expats. So there's more of us. And when I say more of us, I mean black, white, American, Canadian, European. You find a lot of us there. So you, you can get information, you can get help, you can find lodging, you can get information to move around the country, and you can check things out for yourself. But the North Coast, to me, has the highest concentration of expats in the world, in my opinion. Unless someone could tell me another country that has this high of a concentration of expats. Um, my mother, my mother's first visit to the North Coast is the reason she lives here now. And she's visited Santo Domingo, Bani, uh, Villa de Grasa. She was on the other side, and there weren't that many people that spoke English. Her first visit to this side for a month, now she lives here. So you guys can understand, I always say the North Coast, whatever city you pick on the North Coast, is the best because it's more of us here to communicate with, to feel more like home, more like family. You get a lot of the bars, people get, expats get together and congregate. So for, the, for me, the North Coast is the best area to start out in. Spread your wings, go to Santo Domingo, go to Santiago, a lot of friends in Santiago. But to start out, if you don't know much about the country and trying to learn, the North Coast is best. So guys, that's my video of the pros and cons of living in the Dominican Republic based on my experiences over 15 years in this country. So I appreciate all you guys. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stay tuned for more videos, and hit that comment section and tell me what you think about the video and what you feel are some of your pros and cons. Say bye-bye. <laughs>